Good morning. What's going on, guys? Today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Not so much of the car and the build and car audio. Um, we're gonna be giving the little furry guys you see in the background. Um, I guess you could say a proper introduction. Um, you can see them in the background of some of my videos, just walking around, enjoying themselves. So, uh, without no further ado, let's just jump so right in. So this is Tiger. He has been with me for about 16 years. I think going on to 17. Um, so I got him, we adopted him right when I was around four years old. Um, as you can see in this picture right here, there's me and Tiggy. I was about four in that picture and Tiger was a little baby. He was only a couple months old. He's my little buddy. He's been with me my whole life. Ain't that right? He's a good little cat. I love him. He just woke up and he's so happy. He's a healthy little cat for how old he is. He still gets up and plays. He's outside all the time. He's an inside cat though. He just sleeps in his spot over there on the couch. We got that on the couch though. It doesn't get all hairy like this. But um, part that sucks is I'm allergic to cats like really, really, really bad. I've been since I was a kid and since I got him. Um, doctor always told me to get rid of him, but I refused, so I was getting shots because my mom is an allergist, and um, I, it started helping, but it's hard to keep up with just getting a shot every day and reminding her to give him to me, but I don't care. I deal with sneezing, and it's not for about 30 minutes, and then I'm good for the rest of the day, so worth it to play with him and give him attention. But uh that's my little buddy. That's Tiger. <laughs> what are you doing? This is his favorite ball, see? Ever since he was a little baby, we got him this. And uh he chewed it the fuck up. And he just loves it. He won't play with any other ball as much as he plays with this one. This is the only ball that he's ever had in his mouth. But he loves it. Let's see if we'll play. Uh oh. Did you lose it? Nah, I think he did. It's under the oven. But, yep, that's Tiger. And you can see him in the background of a few of my videos. Um, he's not really outside a lot. He stays on the back porch when he does go outside. Um, but, that's Tiggy. Say bye. And here we have Fred. Here's Freddy. Uh, you probably see him in the majority of my outside videos. Um, he is an outside cat. He likes to go hide in the bushes and interrupt me every once in a while with a couple meows. He's very, uh, he's a prick. Yeah, I can say that. He is a prick. Right now he might look all sweet, but if you look deep in those eyes, like that. He doesn't like stuff being in his face. Um, he, he actually found us. Um, I think when I was about, I want to say 10 years old, or 11, he, we had a neighbor moving across the street. Um, he came, and he stayed for about, I think it was about a year, and Fred appeared. And when he first came around, I named him Henry. I know it's kind of a generic name, but uh, kind of looked like a Henry. But I named him Henry, and shortly after, 
um, we started feeding him, and he kept coming around, and we were being nice to him. It took him a little while, but um, then I went over to the neighbor's house and knocked on the door and asked him. I was like, is that your cat? He said, yeah, his name's Fred. I was like, oh, okay. And so his name was Fred, apparently. And not long after that, the neighbor, he packed his shit and left. And we asked him, you taking your cat? And he said, that's not my cat. So I don't know what the deal was with that, but you know, look where he is. He's got himself a good home. I think he was uh, might have been abused at his last home. So that's kind of why he is the way he is. You can't really walk up to him. You have to like, you have to talk to him when you walk up to him outside. But he, if you do the wrong thing, you'll fucking run away or bite you or something stupid. But he knows not to bite me because I'm so old. He's such a little guy, boy. His meow is so freaking loud. If we were outside, it'd be, you'd, you'd be hearing him. But that is Fred. Um, he just stays in here when he's not outside. It's the junk room of the house. There's his cat door. Um, but he either stays in there when he mainly at night he'll be in there, or uh, he sits on one of these chairs outside. But that's the bush that he likes to hide in when he gets scared and or spying on shit. But Yep, so, that's Freddy boy. He's a boy? And here, we have Squirt. Um... First thing, in case you're wondering what all that white shit is, it's, uh, I bathe his crickets in calcium, so, uh, when he fucking snags their ass and gets all over the place, um, let's get him out. He likes to sleep under this rock. So that's Squirt. So here's Squirt. He's a leopard gecko. And he's trying to get out. No sir. Um, he's a leopard gecko. He's about... Coming close to, I would say, a year old. Because he was a little bit old as we got him already. Um, he was almost... He was about half grown. So... He's probably uh, around between six months and a year. Uh, so, yep, this is Squirt, and I don't know what he's trying to do right now. He doesn't like being out of his cage, really. I think it's because it's cold. I'm put him in a warmer spot. Tiggy loves him. Hi! They get along very good. As long, tigers are pretty nice to him. Tiger knows how to handle. I raised him well. Usually, if he uh, does something wrong, he knows I'll beat the shit out of him. So, but there he is. He doesn't do much, I guess. Back in your cage you go. And now he's happy. Excuse me. Need to put your home back. There we go. And the phone is ringing. It. Anyways, so that's Squirt. I know he might not be in a lot of my videos, better yet, none at all. He just sits in his little rock, and of course we decorate him for Christmas. But um, I just figured I'd give the other ones some love too. So let's move on to the next. So here is the 
scary guys. I know you're wondering what the fuck is in here. Um, let's take a look. Two ball pythons. Um, they're about, I want to say, 21 years old. Maybe 20. Uh, they're a little bit older than me. They, my parents got them, I think, a couple years before I was born. Um, so, they're about, I'm, I'm not getting them out. I literally just fed them, like, a week ago, not even a week ago, and they're already fucking hungry again, so I gotta go get them more food. Uh, I feed them live rats, and feed them about, I usually do four a month. I mean, you know, two a piece, because there's two ball pythons in here, like I said. Um, I do two a piece, uh, every month. So, they tend to get a little bitchy when you underfeed them. Um, last time, I just fed them two because it wasn't that long before I fed them the last time. Um, so, I figured that'd be enough, but nope. If I even make one slight move, he's going to see if I can get him to come and pop his head out. Um, you guys will actually like this part. Uh, one, they're actually named because they're my parents' snakes, and like I said, they were around before I was, and my dad was in car audio. He used to go to Lowrider, and um, they had a show truck. It was a Jeep. And um, they're actually named after the audio companies he used to run. Um, he used to have the Orion XTR3s, um, 15s, and uh, acoustic amps. Uh, he had the acoustic 7, 150 watt amps. Uh, so, one of them is named Orion, and the other one is Acoustic. See his head right there. I don't think it's going to That's cold. But anyways, maybe one day, um, I'll actually pull them out and show you guys. But, this is all they do. Sometimes I'll actually give them a bath, like uh, after they eat and their cage is cleaned. I'll go ahead and give them a bath and let them swim around the tub. They like that as long as it's kind of warm. But yeah, that's it. That's all the animals. I don't know what Squirt's doing. He never goes in there. He used to go in there when he was uh, when he was first when we first got him because I didn't get I didn't have that rock for him yet so they used to be his home he actually this is from a fish tank um you can actually crawl up in there and go all the way up in there but he likes to sit halfway out and you can see his fat belly <laughs> but that's all the animals I got guys um two cats a uh, leopard gecko and two wall pythons so like I said, some of them, like the uh, reptiles, you don't really see in my videos because they just sit in their cage, but um, the cats here, you see in a lot of my videos. But, I guess that's all I got for you guys. I just wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, show them a little bit of love and appreciation on the channel. Right? Right? What are you doing? I don't think you like it. But anyways, guys, that's all I got. This is me and Tiggy signing out. And we'll both catch you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe. And um, stay tuned for some more update videos coming up soon. Catch you guys later.